Not just any voter can be a poll watcher. There are strict rules and requirements. You also must fill out this poll watcher authorization form, get it notarized, and be approved by your county clerk. I don't ever view the poll watcher as uh, an enemy of the election process. Leslie Ballamy is a director of elections for all of Arkansas. She says the responsibility of a poll watcher includes a variety of things. Basically challenge voters that they think may not be registered. They can record names of people that are voting for whatever group they're representing. However, Leslie says poll watchers can't challenge voters directly. There's a process they go through with the lead poll worker or the poll supervisor that would let them know if that's something that can be challenged. During election day and early voting, poll watchers can observe election officials, voters, and watch as votes are being counted. So they can't be right up on your machine as you're voting, and they can't be right up on the tabulation area they have to stand back and not disrupt the flow and not be closer and violate that six foot wall. A bull watcher can be a candidate, a representative of a candidate, a representative of a group seeking a ballot measure, or a representative of a political party with a candidate on the ballot. A candidate, however, who's also a poll watcher cannot be at the polling locations. They can only be present during the counting of the votes. One uh, candidate or group can only have one poll watcher at a side at a time. Bellamy says she's been working 24 years on elections and says she's never had a problem with a poll watcher here in Arkansas. It just keeps everything honest. You know, the more uh, transparent you are, I think, allows individuals to feel confident about the election process. And we have filed FOIA requests to see how many poll watchers there were during the November 8, 2016 and November 6, 2018 election. In Washington County, there were 14 poll watchers in 2016 and 11 poll watchers in 2018. All were from the Democratic Party. As for Sebastian County, there were two poll watchers in 2016 and one representative for a candidate has signed up for the 2020 general election. All were a part of the Republican Party. Now, counties like Crawford, Madison, Carroll, and Logan did not have any poll watchers in either election. We are still waiting to hear back from Benton County. In studio, I'm Kendall Ashman, 4029 News.